Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Custom. So I'm gonna just go over my little paint setup here, uh, some of the paints that I use and how I have my little shelf set up. Uh, I kinda came up with this idea and it works for me great. Uh, maybe it'll give you guys some ideas. Uh, you know, everyone's got their own taste on how to set up everything, but just gives you a rundown of what I got. So, as you can see, this is pretty much the shelf with all my paints, how everything's set up. And then it goes down to a uh, little airbrush parts down at the bottom and just a little bit of a mess, but it works. So I'll go over each shelf with you. So basically the top shelf is a lot of my clear coats, uh, a lot of random chemicals up there, uh, some supplies. Um, the top uh, left area is where all these paint brushes are. These are uh, basically, you know, all my little fine tip uh, brushes that I got. And then I got over here uh, the brushes I use to sculpt with. So I go back to school sales every uh, year at the Jerry's Art Supply. And you get these brushes, you know, anywhere from like a dollar to two dollars a pop. So I always supply when they have the back to the school sales. Uh, next shelf down is pretty much all my blacks and whites. And I have a lot of different company stuff. Uh, basically, I know when I go to a specific project, I know what paint I'm going to be using for that item. But I just like to have all my whites and blacks and colors all together. It just makes life easier for me. So i got the blacks, the whites, uh, some grays, and then i got my uh, Alclad chromes and the Alclad clears. So that's pretty much over there. That pretty much works for me and how it goes. Next shelf down is pretty much all the metallics and clear coats. Um... So I got like, you know, uh, clear oranges, greens, reds, blues, and then I got my, uh, you know, chrome silvers, I got my uh, golds, metallics, uh, gun metals, I got some uh, clear uh, colors here, what I usually use for eyeshadows and stuff, I got iridescence, and my interference, so this is kind of like the metallic shelf with all the uh, candy coats, uh, makes it easier for when I know I need to grab the paints. Next shelf down is all my... Uh, Flesh tones. Uh, I'm still trying to burn through a lot of the freestyles I have, but most of the ones I use uh, is uh, garage kit colors, and basically that's pretty much all the flesh tones there. So I got them going down in order, which is the regular flesh, and I got some of the transparents I use, bronzes, then I go to like the you know virgin fleshes, and then I go with the ones I mix up. Oh, blue's supposed to be down here. Uh, so basically. Uh, you know, that's pretty much that shelf. Uh, I know where I need to grab. I know what I need to put back. It's messy now, but I need to organize it. And I usually organize every, uh, you know, couple weeks when stuff's get thrown all around. I put everything back together. So next shelf down from that, I got all my reds. Then I go to my blues. Then I go to my browns. Uh, I, I don't know why I did it this way, but it just sort of worked out. And I know you can see Create Text, you can see Tamayas, you can see, uh, you know, Vigellos, uh, you know, Garage Kit Colors. I Like I said, I, I know what color I need for a specific project, and I like to mix up different colors from different brands. And I'll show you some uh, stuff that I use to mix, uh, you know, after I go over the shelf. So, that's pretty much how I got all that going. It works good for me, because at least I know what colors wear uh, it doesn't matter about the brand for me as much as the colors trying to find them you know if i put all the jellos in one all garage kits in the other i'm trying to find the colors just just makes life easier and then uh, going down to the bottom uh it's kind of like the oddball colors that i kind of use but i don't use it all depends so i got my oranges to my purples to my yellows to my greens it just uh you know, most of the time I'm always up, uh, you know, with the reds, blues, browns, and all the stuff, metallics, and all these colors go down there mixed with some other pearls and stuff like that. Uh, it's, like I said, it's pretty messy, but that's pretty much how it goes. And then uh, if we go down even further, over here is the oddball paints that I've mixed up that are dried or just, you know, kind of dying. Uh, I throw all the extra bottles and stuff in there whenever I work on bases or stuff that I need to get some, you know, colors. I'll go into there. Uh, I got my mixing uh, top that I've had since college to go to these paints here. Uh, these are all the, you know, Windsor Newton colors. I use these a lot too when I do some dry brushing, um, you know, maybe painting some uh, bases, uh, any other stuff. Because this stuff doesn't go on as smooth as the airbrush colors that when I you know because they're watered down a little bit more but I still use these for specific things you know go from there and then as if, uh, you go down to the bottom bottom uh, basically you know I just got all the you know mixing with my paint bottles 
Uh, these are really good. You get these from garage kits. It gives a little bit of marble. Basically, you can mix in your paints. And I use them all the time. So we'll just uh, put one of these over here and I'll show you after the video. And then uh, more parts and mixing bottles. Uh, all the basic uh, women's makeup stuff because I don't like using pastels. So I use uh, all these stuff. So this is great with some brushes. And I got some uh, watercolor too because I use watercolors. Uh, over here some more airbrush parts. All my glues with some other stuff here and there. And then uh, some more of my airbrushes and uh, parts and everything that's back up. So that's pretty much the setup of my uh, airbrushes. I mean, all my paints. Gives you an idea of how I have it set up. Maybe give you guys some ideas on how to set yours up. But it works out good for me. Just got to do some major cleaning on it. So as you can see when I'm working over here on the airbrush booth, I just turn to my left, grab the paints I need, throw them over there, and then uh, come back. So I'll uh, show you some of the bottles I'm mixing up, what I usually do, and uh, go from there. So we'll be right back. Alright guys, to give you an idea of how I mix up my paints, uh, I usually do mix up different brands of uh, paints together and I haven't had any issues with anything because they're all acrylics and they're all acrylic based. And I always make sure, you know, I test uh, the colors uh, onto something before I hit the statue. So as you can see, my whole uh, little airbrush thing here is just a complete mess as well as the top. I'm always testing stuff on the backgrounds and everything. So... To mix them all up, I uh, bought up a lot of these uh, bottles from Garage Kit Colors website. Jesse, who owns it, sells these blank bottles. So basically, you just pop off the top like this. You pour in your paints, whatever colors you want, whatever kind of thickness, then put it back on, screw it back on, and then with the marble in there, you shake it up, and you get a nice mixture. So as you can see, these two bottles here are for uh, the Kitty Pride I was working on and Spider Girl. So I use different color companies, you know, Golden, Tamiya's, Createx, Garage Kits. I mix them all together, and then as you can see, when they sit a while, they set down at the bottom. But as long as you have that marble in there, and these bottles make your paints last a lot longer so you don't waste them. So with that marble in there, shake it all up, you get your color back in your mixture. Same thing with this one. So it makes life a lot easier. So, you know, uh, I don't know how much, I forget how much each bottle is, but I remember when I went to... Uh, I think it was uh, Jersey Fest, one of the shows when uh, Jesse was there selling. I bought up all these bottles as you saw them previously. They just start a lifesaver. So I put a piece of tape on there mixing what color that I'm making for which character. So this way even though if uh, I'm working on the character and I'm doing all my details for something, I scratch it or I nick it or I make a mistake. I still got my paint fresh ready to go in these bottles and I know what colors to which character so that makes life a lot easier so that's one way of mixing up my paints and how I organize and keep everything going and another way of mixing up paints if you uh, have bottles like this or you can take the top off in the marble out and use one of these tools basically it's an old uh, you know paint mixer um, you just put a battery in there when you turn the sucker on you put the paint in and you mix it all up so uh, this one's a little bit old and it's just warped from all this paint as you can see. But if you get these uh, Liquitex paints and you like these colors but you really need to, you know, get these uh, smoothed out otherwise it'll come out gloppy through your airbrush if you do. Uh, this tool works out great but you can put this stuff in these as well but you got to really mix it up good. So that's pretty much my uh, ways of mixing up my paints and these are just the tools I use. Uh, I really don't use much else and so maybe like a glass bottle if I just put a color in and I need to do it I'll just put my finger on mix up the color and then go as you can see uh, with this bottle right here I was using this one a lot for um, the clear coat on Psylocke blades and the gambit uh, hand I did so I put in the colors mix it and pour it in and that's all I needed so that's what I use to mix up my paints uh, like I said you, I've, I haven't had any issues with different uh, brands of acrylics as all the ones you can see. Um, you know, as long as you're mixing them pretty well and you're not running into any issues or gloppiness. Uh, I suggest though you never mix uh, outclad colors into the acrylics because uh, these outclad paints here, um, they're lacquers. And don't ever mix these in with these colors because then you're going to have a hell of an issue. The, the stuff reacts to it and it starts to like cake up and turn hard it just it's a nightmare so always stick to acrylic to acrylic lacquer to lacquer so on and so on 
So that's pretty much my little setup. That's pretty much how I paint my paints and, uh, you know, work everything out. So hopefully you guys like the setup. Give you guys some ideas. And we'll be back next time. Thanks for watching.